What up, Iron Man fans? This is Sean Long of Long Shot Dreams, and I'm bringing another Iron Man 2 movie toy review. This time, a two for one review of the Iron Man 2 movie Mark 6 power up armor and regular Mark 6 armor. So, since we're getting two Mark 6 armor Iron Mans, at least so far in the 334 fin scale, I decided to review both of them. This one is the regular Mark uh, 6 armor that comes with the missile launcher, and then this is the power up one. And I'll show you the main differences. Now the new Mark 6 armor is very awesome with the new uh, triangle uh, arc light um, in his chest and what's cool about this figure on both figures is they both have uh, lo and behold glued on shoulder pads so you don't have to worry about popping on off shoulder pads which is very awesome. The armor looks amazing and the paint apps are pretty spot on. Oh look he's got some number. Iron Man was in jail. Maybe a hint hint. No but anyway um, you you can see here it's very nicely done. On the Mark 6 with the missile launcher you can see he has a closed fist and one open palm whereas the Mark uh, 6 with the light up armor or the power glow armor uh, has uh, two open hands you can see here and they're pretty uh, the same. This one I noticed that uh, because it glows it doesn't have the gold paint in there so that's another main difference and um, one thing though uh, because of the light up feature I noticed this on all the pow uh, power up glow Mark 6 is that his head is very loose. I mean really loose. It's like almost a uh, bobble head loose. So that's one thing to note if you're uh, deciding which one they get. Now for articulation they both have the same articulation almost. Um, the Mark uh, 6 armor's head can rotate all the way around as well as go up and down. Arms can rotate all the way around. Can go in and out. Bend at the elbow. Rotate all the way at the elbow. Wrist can fully rotate. The, the Mark 6, oops, uh, <laughs> Iron Man is drunk. <laughs> oh, that's no surprise. Anyway, um, the Mark uh, 6 um, does have full waist articulation, but the power up one doesn't because of the light up feature. Uh, so that's one thing, it does lose out on that articulation. But both of uh, them have legs that go forward and back, in and out, rotate at the upper part of the leg, bend at two points of the knee, and their feet can pivot forward and back and rotate um, mostly. So they do have this uh, same articulation minus the, the waist articulation or ab articulation. Now the regular Mark 6 armor comes with this really nice blaster if you remember the Mark 3 coming with the missile launcher and comes with the metal looking missile that does shoot out really well. What I like about it is that it actually clips on really nicely and it actually stays on whereas the um, 6 inch one it got kind of loose and would fall off from time to time but this one actually stays on really nice. For the Mark 6 with the power up glow all you have to do simply do is press down on his head and you can see that he has a little light uh, shining through his chest. It's a nice orange light. It's pretty bright. I'll show you without the lights on right now. You can now. see when the lights off it glows really brightly. It uh, pretty much lights up his whole upper torso. It's really cool. It's got a hot day tonight with Black Widow. Where's my, the keys to my Porsche? Where are they? Wait, hold on. Ah, there they are. And just like all the other Iron Man figures, the Mark VI uh, armor comes with the little blueprints and with the two clear pieces that layer together you see it'll make the Mark VI armor. This is the one with the missile launcher so you can see it it adds a little missile launcher and plus it comes with a little stand which you can put right there. Mark VI with a light of power glow you can see has no missile launcher so if you rather display it without the missile missile launcher with the little thing then I suggest getting the power up one. So which one should you buy? Well if you like more articulation and you like missile launchers definitely get this one. If you like uh, don't mind not having waist articulation and you like light up features definitely get this one. They're both great. I am Iron Man. No you're not. I am Iron Man. Oh yeah prove it. I will defeat you with my repulsor power arc light glow. Take this. Ugh. It's so shiny. Take that. Ugh. Well yeah well how about my big repulsor power missile launcher. I think you need some more Iron Man and you need some Michael Bay explosions. <laughs> Size comparison time. So here you can see uh, the Mark VI armor Iron Mans are in great scale with other 334 3, inch figures like G.I. Joe Rise of the Cobra the Scarlet and also the same size as the Transformer Scout figure. It's really a preference of which Mark VI armor you want. If you like waist articulation and missile launchers, get the missile launcher one. If you like lineup features, then get the lineup one. 
They're both great figures. I love the armor. I'm loving these Iron Man figures and I just can't wait for the movie to come out. They're both badass. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Stay tuned for more Iron Man reviews. This was other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like. And this is Sean Long saying, till next time. Hey kids, where does Iron Man buy all his awesome toys? He gets them from BigBadToysStore.com. Get all the latest hot toys Iron Man figures or the new Iron Man 2 movie toys from Hasbro. You don't have to be rich like Tony Stark. You can pre-order your toys or they take PayPal. Now get your toys at BigBadToysStore.com now or I will send a repulsor in your face. My armor is better. No, my armor is better. No, my... Wait a second. We have the same armor. What are we talking about? Wow, it's Iron Man. I'm a big fan. But which one's the real Iron Man? Wait, are you Black Widow? No, I'm Scarlet. Oh, well, bro, I got this one. I'll, I'll take one for the team. So, what are you doing, pretty lady? Oh, well, I'm in the mood. He's gonna put some iron in that woman.